This is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the final concept that is about the diffing algorithm. So this one comes in the reconciliation thing in the render phase. So when we are trying to create a new updated fiber tree, so this diffing algorithm will be used. Let's try to learn about this one. In this video, we will see one of the important thing in render phase, which was the diffing algorithm. That is a part of the reconciliation process. We didn't really go deep into how the diffing works and since that is also a really important one. So we'll try to do it that one. Diffing is first of all based on the two fundamental assumptions. So this diffing algorithm how it will work is so it will have a two fundamental assumptions. First one is the two elements of different types will produce different trees. So we'll try to see explore this one with an example also. First one is the two elements of different types will produce a different tree. Second one is that the elements with a stable key, so a key that is consistent over time will stay same across the renders. So let's try to take the first one. Remember that diffing is comparing elements step by step <coughs> between two renders based on their position in the tree. And there are basically two different situations that need to be considered. So what is that one? First having two different elements at the same position. So if you are having the two different elements at the same position, in the tree between the two renders and a second one having the same element at the same position in the tree so there are so those are the only two situations in the matter so i will try to show you these two situations now let's start with the first situation that different elements are at the same position let's say that at the same point or at the same position an application is re-rendered and in the diffing pro process we find that an element has changed in a certain position of a tree let's say that's example here so here at the top different DOM element is there here at the top we are having a div element and in this div element we are having a search bar component and down we are having some JSX elements fine so here the div element has been changed to header element so we have changed the different DOM element so this has been changed to header and search bar header everything is same but only the div has changed to header now let's see what will happen in this situation how the diffing algorithm works let's see so now we are looking at the JSX code which leads to the tree because I find it very very little bit easy, easier. Here the DOM element changing like this. Changing simply means that the type of the element has changed from div to a header. So here it has been changed from div to a header. Div to a header. In this situation React will assume that the element itself plus all its children are no longer valid. So in this situation, so here in this situation, the element, whichever the element you are having this one, right? Header element, not only the header element and also what are all the elements present in the child. So it will, the, the algorithm will think that these are not at all valid. These are no longer valid. Therefore, all these elements will actually be destroyed and removed from the DOM and also including their state also. So every element will be del uh, deleted. So the child elements and also the components, everything including the state also will get destroyed and removed from the DOM. In this example, both the div element and the search bar component will be removed from the DOM and will then be rebuilt as a header with a brand new search bar component instance as the child. So I think you hopefully you are, uh, you are able to understand this point. So if the child elements stays the same across renders, the tree will actually get rebuilt, but it gets rebuilt with a brand new elements. And so if there are many any components with the state, the state will not be recovered. This effectively resets state and this has a huge implications for the way that react applications work in practice. So here you will be able to see now in the second situation is we are having a different react element. So here we are having a div. So here it should be div only. So my mistake here. So let's assume that uh, let's try to change it here. So let's say that here we are having a div element not the header element. Okay development now here in this slideshow what i want to tell you is so in this one only the component has been changed so from search bar component to profile menu component has been changed in the second example here the search bar component has changed to profile menu component and therefore the search bar is again completely destroyed including its state and removed from the dom also so this phase is also pretty much clear now the second situation we need to know the second situation is when between two renders we have the exact same element at the same position in the tree and this one actually is more straightforward. So what will be this one? Example C. 
so here we are having the same development and search bar and here also let's try to oh sorry so it is also my mistake only so these are small small mistakes which i have did it and here also we are having a search bar only okay so now let's try to make it as a dew yeah now here in this slide show if you observe carefully so now the class name hidden has been changed to class name act2 the elements are at the same position and the elements are also same and the search bar and search bar the elements everything is same but here the changed is only is the attribute thing so in this situation what it will try to do so here is the second thing so here we are having search bar weight is equal to 1 and here search bar weight is equal to 5 so here only the props has been changed the but the elements and everything is one and the same only so same react element with different attributes in this example the elements will be simply kept in the dom and that includes all child elements and more importantly the component state so here the component state the child elements and everything will be kept in the dom like that only so why because the element itself has been has not been changed only the attributes has been changed now this say sound this may sound pretty obvious that it has some implications again the same element at the same position in the tree stays the same and preserve state and it works like this for dom elements and for react elements as well so that is the thing so the same element at the same position in the tree stays the same and preserves the state and it works like this for the dom also dom elements also now in these examples we actually see that something has changed however it was not the element type that has changed but simply the class name attribute in the div and the weight property in the search bar component so these are the two things which have been changed and so what react is gonna do is to simply mutate the dom element attributes so it will just mutate the dom element attributes and in the case of react elements it will pass in the new props but that's it so react tries to be as efficient as possible and so the dom elements themselves will stay the same only they are not removed from the dom and even more importantly the state will not be destroyed now sometimes we actually don't want this standard behavior but instead a new component instance with a new state so here the component the search bar component will not be destroyed when the props are changed in the same position means the component will not be destroyed the same component will be used but the props will be updated with the new props and here the state and everything will be, will most probably remain the same only remain the remains the same only so the whatever the state you are having is the updated state it will be remaining like that only so that is the thing sometimes what we want is we don't want this type of behavior so then so we want to create a new component instance with a new state so in this type of scenario that's the that's the place where the key prop comes into play and we will learn about these more rules in the next video so this is all about the diffing algorithm so in the next video we'll try to see about the real time implementation of this diffing algorithm and the key prop also where it will be useful we'll try to see it so that's it guys about the diffing thing hope you understood about this diffing thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.